So I woke up to some amazing news for Global Dokkan Battle, and that is the sync between Global and JP Dokkan has announced to happen around summer of 2024, which was stated in the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour of 2024, which is amazing that we now know a time frame. So when do we expect the latest of summer? Since we do seasons based off the Northern Hemisphere, the latest is actually September 23rd, the official end of summer. That is the latest we'll see the sync happen. Of course, the what we think of end of summer is, is end of August. But they will have an excuse and an acceptable excuse if the sync does happen in September instead. But that is the latest. Now, that's quite earlier than I expected, truth be told. There is a lot of sync celebrations between now and that time frame which means they don't have much room to, you know, have ways to sync up because we have the Saiyan Day, which happens in March, which obviously both Global and JP share. Then you have Golden Week by the end of May. Then Global's anniversary is in July. And then the end of, and then August to September is the worldwide celebration, which kind of just means that September is out of the question because that is full worldwide celebration sync celebration so really the sync should happen during august and we already know in february they're releasing the android 17 and 18 top doken fest for global which was leaked by i seriously a few days ago with this gift he's known leaker who's very reputable always correct and so that is a part two celebration one thing i don't think is going to happen is them speeding up any celebrations and another thing that i don't think is going to happen is jp dokkan is going to slow down to make this happen i think the main thing here that's going to happen is they're going to shove the remaining dokkan fest units in the uh, in a banner pretty much so by the time of the worldwide celebration this year jp will be getting other than the anniversary here an extra dokkan fest unit here in march April will get a Dokken Fest unit. The end of May, set or or technically June, and they will have their Tanabata during June, July, um, and then their final Dokken Fest unit that they will release before the worldwide celebration is at the end of July, all the way till the end of August. So there is a lot of Dokken Fest that they need to cover, not including already the ones here. That they're missing even excluding the tier p 17 18 which is already gonna start very very soon i don't know how they're going to do it there is so many to fit within such a small time frame it's going to be very crazy yeah so i really don't know what is going so i really don't know how they're going to be doing this i think the best thing to do is just shove everything in a banner but there is just so much content that needs to be shoved if they put it in a town of butter where I, I, in in what eight months i don't know how they're gonna do it i really don't know with all the events that will be missing the part two lrs it, the only way is to shove a, all the doken fests in a banner and then all the gold coin lrs or carnival units that are releasing at this during that time in a banner to sync up and then just forget about it. <laughs> Unless JP wants to purposely slow down, I have no clue what is going to be happening, man. It's just such a mystery of how they're going to be doing it. Or imagine they did like dual Dokken Fests for every of the mid banners to catch up. How cool would that be? I don't know. Um, so it's definitely going to be a bumpy ride for sure. So yeah, some confusing stuff right there. The if they were going to, you know, put everything into one banner, the Tanabata banner is like the best thing to do. It's just known to hold a lot of Dokken festivals. So yeah, uh, I really, I really don't know. The one cool thing is that if we are sharing anniversaries, 10th anniversary will be shared, which is awesome. And the final bit of news is that there's going to be an international first event. Um, and they showed off previous events that they have done which was the EZAs for the Great Apes, the Internet, the EZA for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, as well as the EZA for the God Goku. 
So God Goku Easy Aid on the 8th of February and Super Saiyan 4 Goku Easy Aid on the 8th of August and the Great Ape Units Easy Aid in 7th of October. There's not really a pattern here or like a time frame. I don't know if this really helps with the sync unless it's like, I think it doesn't, it, it doesn't impact timing all too much. If it was like a brand new Doken Fest, then maybe like, like in 2020 where they released God Goku, then maybe yes. We could see uh, this could be a way of catching up with JP as it will waste a whole like half a month of release. And that way they can fit like a part one Doken event in just to um, just to catch up. But other than that, I don't think it impacts the uh, timing too much. So here are the potential easy A's that they could do for this global first. And I it's it can't be a two-parter Doken Fest unit. It's got to be a hyped LR, I think. I hope. And the, it, you're like, you can't just easy A Super 17 as a global first. Come on. Let's not. Let's not think about that. If it's happening soon, somewhere in 2020 would be my guess here. Um, Brawly is here, which is very enticing. That's always a easy unit to get an easy A. But I don't know how soon this uh, Easy A first for Global is going to be. But this could be a potential pick for me. I think Gohan here may be a solid pick as a Global first. Or maybe even something later if the Easy A is going to happen way later than expected. Uh, I would say the... I'd say like Super Vegeta wouldn't be too bad here. But let me know what you guys think is going to be easy. If it is a brand new unit like they did in 2020, I have no clue what they could possibly do. That, that is just something that is truly unpredictable. And that is pretty much it for Dokkan Battle news announced in the Battle Hour. They even did a producer letter giving us the HD version of said news, but we don't need to cover that. But that doesn't affect the video at all. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you guys have some ideas of how they would do the sync, that would be awesome to hear from you guys what your predictions may be. Let me know what the global first is going to be. Are you guys excited for this? And yeah, I will be live at twitch.tv forward slash jfanta today. Link in the description to grind up all of the ninth anniversary stuff so stay tuned so stay tuned and subscribe to this youtube channel so you don't miss out on content of course until the next one though stay healthy stay safe stay fizzy peace